come on. No, no good target is still up and we've been engaged by fighters. All right, let's get on them. One down. Come on, there he is. Oh, 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 oh. just rammed that guy. He's about to launch, is he? He's in position. Vampire, vampire. Good afternoon, you way bastards, and welcome back to Halo Reach with Koala. That's right, we're hopping back into the Master Chief collection because Halo itself just launched, so we need to finish up this Reach campaign. So today we're going through Operation Uppercut. They plan to stop the invading Covenant force dead in their tracks that takes up the majority of Act 2. Now, this section of Halo Reach is really broad, but since I couldn't resist leaving the last episode on a bang... <clears throat> now watch this drive. Oh, shit! Yeah, that's not going to buff out. Away. This one is going to be fast-paced and action-packed all the way through. Right, no time to stop. I can either go around you or through you. With the immediate threat of the Covenant's initial strike force taken care of, we have a little bit of time to collect ourselves, coordinate a response, and that's going to require force recon. So, under cover of darkness, we're going to move quietly through the area, survey the Covenant force, the terrain, the positions, and hopefully make life hell for their scouts in the process. Alright, we're going to do this stealthily. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this is the ultimate case of there's stealth and then there's Russian stealth. <laughs> Alright, come on, bring it. Boom, baby! <laughs> oh, I'm too awesome. Oh, so they're Russian. Okay, off the roof. Oh, the no scoops! <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is definitely still stealthy, right? Nobody knows we're here. Morning! Oh, I remember this bit. Right, stay low. We're not gonna get their attention. Oh, what? You pissed him off! Dude! Well, that was just kind of pointless. You are very ugly. Oh, it looks like we've got civilians being attacked here. There we go. Wait, if they're militia, they're not civilians, though. Which is it? Okay, now we've got their attention. Now they're pissed off. Oh! Oh, oh. oh get punted. Jesus. All right, target. Whoa. Okay, target is uh, uh, not a threat anymore. It's then that we come across a Covenant contraption, which is blocking all our surveillance and networking in the area. So, last thing on the to-do list for tonight is to plant explosives in the spire, ready to detonate tomorrow. All right, do me a favor. Hold this for me, would you please? It's still stealth if none of you make it out alive. Okay, so he's busy fiddling around with the bombs down there. We're left on cleanup duty. Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine by me. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, just punted him out of there. <laughs> Come on. What are they? Oh no, it's my goddamn ex girlfriends again. I thought I told you. It wasn't working. Oh, you fell out, didn't you? Don't call me again, all right? God, you're ugly. With the charges set, it's time to get back to surveying the hostile forces in the area from these mountains. But it seems like our cover is a little blown, so I guess it's time to resume wading through corpses in true Spartan fashion. Right, as long as I can keep that turret free, we should be good. Maybe us over here. No, don't you try getting back in there. Pop. <laughs> it's a tactic that just keeps throwing men at me until I run out of rounds. Guess they really are Russian. Alright, now I'm really running low in ammo. I might actually have to pick up one of these Covenant Shatter weapons. Don't make me come up there. Thank you. Well, I guess this is one way to... Wow. Sweet Christmas. 
Turns out, the Covenant have been using those spires we found earlier to jam our instruments and covertly land a massive invasion force, along with shields, heavy weaponry and AA defences. So come the morning, it's time to send in the troops. Naturally, that means that even though we've just been up all night doing the recon work, we still have to join the army itself. Seriously? I know Spartans never die, they are just missing in action, but perhaps you wouldn't have so many go quote unquote missing if you let the fuckers sleep every now and then. It is a good thing we were involved however because predictably when it comes to UNSC Marines, two minutes in and they're all dead. I wish I could say I was surprised, but as usual, it's down to us. Yeah, can I get a better weapon than this grenade launcher if I'm taking on a whole army please? Never mind, this will do. Neutralize enemy AA. Not going to be a problem. That's a big AA gun. Like, these are powerful rockets, but I don't know if... Oh, jeez, this is bad. Oh, no, that's very bad. Um, Not good. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> they don't know how to drive either, so we're fine. Oh, God. This is so OP. <laughs> that's hilarious right there. I should not still be alive. Fuck. Okay, I guess that's fair. Plan B then. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. I mean, like, it will be. Right, is this where I park? <laughs> oh, you stay there. Hold on. Just let me... Problem solved. Well, here's where all the energy is, so I guess I just... Man, grenades solve every problem, don't they? Alright, time to go. Should probably not be standing here right now. Whoa, what was that? Oh, boom. Oh, yeah, send the boys in, baby. Oh, this Phantom is so fucked. You should look at him get raked right there. Oh, there go the long swords! Oh yes, this is perfect. Ah, yep, yeah, that's the Phantom. Cool Spartans don't look at explosions. <laughs> Except that one. Oh shit, that's a tank. No, 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 no. Wow. That was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Alright, it looks like we have some ammo bags. I, I mean... Uh, Marines here. That's good. <laughs> uh, grenade. Oh, that was perfect. They're all just fucking dead. Okay, there's a zealot class around here somewhere. We're a hit squad now. That's fine. Man, you guys really use these things? Let's need to experience a good 50 cam. Okay, that's better. God, I miss my sniper rifle. Alright, there's a high value target. Perfect. Come on, get out of my way, no time for you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was graphic. Oh, there he is. Slam dunk. <laughs> Well, nope, let's not let these ghosts get away. That's how it's done. Nope, that's another reef. That's a problem. Let's get around him. No, 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 you don't. All right, come on. Yes, perfect shot. Oh, he's definitely feeling this now. Problem is, I don't want to detonate him when he's right next to me. And feeds back. Boom! That's it! Beautiful! Oh shit! <clears throat> uh, absolutely nothing happened there. Fuck, they have more hunters up there. And a second tank. <laughs> so anyway, I'll start a blasting. <laughs> oh, out the way. Um. Bye, have a good time. <laughs> Hi, this is your Uber. Just gonna park right here. Alright, that's one hunter down. Six, I need that AA gun now. 
Well, I don't see you helping much, do I? All right, now where's that last big boy? Morning. Did he seriously just survive four grenades? What the fuck? Wait a second. I think the gun's down. Yeah, it is. Those grenades did it. Yeah, you might not want to stand there. Mission complete. With the AA guns down, our next objective is a covenant structure the Office of Naval Intelligence believes to be of importance, so we're hopping aboard a Falcon gunship and flying the rest of the way through. You know, you really shouldn't make yourself targets like this, it's not good for your health. Oh, goodbye. Oh, oh, tank! Tank! Oh, this is just too much power to put in my hands. This is disgusting. <laughs> also, I love how it has a proper designation, like UH-144 Falcon. You know, it should kind of be MH-144. Oh my god. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to get through this. I mean, my better judge... Oh, okay, we're trying it anyway. Yeah, that's about what I expected to happen. Hello, jetpacks. Goodbye, you. Oh my goodness, how many are there? Hi. Just thought I'd drop in. Wait, I said that already in the series, didn't I? Hi. Oh, you thought you were special being able to fly. That's it, come to daddy. What a shame. Alright, here we go. And... Alright. Up we go. And here we go, up the spire. Right, hi, he's first. <laughs> Does not even remotely threaten. There could have been elites hunters up here, I don't know. Just you. Okay, they're all in the air. Oh, Jesus. That's a fuel rod cannon. That's bad. Oh, no. Stay away, stay away, stay... I mean, I can just jetpack right off the edge of this thing. That's no problem, but... There we go. Problem dealt with. With the Spire's defences down, our frigate can move in and turn it to toothpaste, so we better not be there when that happens. There's just one problem though. That Spire was a teleport linked to a cloaked supercarrier which has been the flagship of this invasion. This is bad news. Really bad. That nightmare could spell doom for the planet, and by the time the nearest battle groups could arrive from existing deployments on other worlds, there'll be nothing left to save if we can't somehow take that thing out. Fortunately, there is a plan. Operation Uppercut, which is one of the coolest sequences in all of Halo, bar none. Our first objective is to reach a top secret launching facility, which is currently being assaulted by a Covenant task force. Alright, oh god, they're dropping everywhere. Well, that's our objective over there, but it looks like it's theirs too. Now, we're not going to have time to systematically stop and deal with every hostile here. Oh, that was perfect. Get out of here. Oh, there's another one drop. Take him out. Good. Right, we just need to get into that launching site as quickly as possible. They are really keen on stopping us from making it through, though. So we can go around here. Pop. Pop. Oh, beautiful. Right, let's just go. Let's just get through. Alright, looks like the rest of the troops are here. Finally, take your time. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, that should be about it. Alright, objective complete. That's what we're after. The Saber. Experimental Starfighter. Beautiful. Six, get to the Saber before the Covenant wreck. All right, well, we're pilot. George is a wizard, it looks like.
first stage engines are nominal. Stage separation in three, two, one. Stage separation. The plan is to use the slip space drive from one of their frigates as a makeshift bomb, getting it aboard a Covenant Corvette class ship which will dock with the supercarrier and send it to oblivion. First though, we have to protect the orbital station while the drive is being decoupled. Alright, well this is where I'm more at home. We got banshees to take out here. We got missiles, machine guns. There's one, two, come on stay on him, seize the missiles. Right, next. That's four. Splash four. Five! <laughs> this is so much fun. I really wish Halo had more of these types of levels. Right, second wave. Yeah, that didn't last long. Dude, I can never get enough of these levels when Halo does them. They're so good. Ooh. Alright, up and over. Ooh, what are these? Seraphs. Alright, now these have energy shields, it looks like, that we need to disable before we can get in with the missiles. Alright, there we go. His shield's offline, lock him up. Fox! I mean... <laughs> I just say Fox for these things, that's how fucking a must I am right now. Right, that's another one. Quick left! Oh, that was so beautiful. Splash two! Okay, our wingman needs help, it looks like. Come on, get him. Missiles away! That's some tracking. Seriously, does anybody want a Halo game that's just this sort of thing? Just like flying sabers or broadswords, doing cast missions and shark swords? God, it could be so good. Maybe even piloting some of the big frigates and like deploying ground battalions and such. Oh, I would play the crap out of that. Oh, we've got more sailors here. Oh my goodness, these defenses are... How are any of them even getting this close? Oh, this is so cool. Oh! There goes one, there goes two, and... <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed by now, this is so sick. Right, next target. Break your shields, and lock him up. Fox! I think they just, yep, yeah, wrong target. Boom, perfect. Oh, sweet Christmas. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Keep the carnage going. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> oh, we got dropships coming in. They must be trying to board the station. That's a, that's a little bit brave, don't you think? Given how much we've been trashing their entire squadrons that have been coming in so far. All right, yep, that's him done. So two volleys each. All right, break left. Oh, that's two targets down. Oh, so they're torpedo boats, are they? Oh no, so they're just trying to launch missiles and, and scuttle the station. Oh, beautiful. Right, two targets left, come on. Gotta prevent them getting those missiles off. We just need a little bit more time. Come on, oh, heavy damage, heavy damage. Oh, beautiful. Right, last one. Come on. No, no good, target is still up, and we've been engaged by fighters. Alright, let's get on them. One down. Come on, there he is! Oh! <laughs> He's rammed that guy. He's about to launch, is he? He's in position. Vampire, vampire! Oh, yes, just in time, got that last one. After that trial by fire defending Anchor 9, while the frigate's slip space drive is removed, it's time to go on the offensive, taking the fight right to the Covenant Corvette, which is off on its own, acting as a forward operating station for landing forces. Once we disable the Corvette, we can get the package aboard and let the enemy take their own demise right into the heart of their battle fleet. This isn't going to be an easy task, however. We're going to be dealing with combat air patrols and fleet defence weapons, but with fire support from the UNSC frigate, we should be able to punch a hole in their defensive and board the ship with the package. Alright, there she is, boys. That's our target. Let's hit her hard. Are those fighter escorts? 
Wait, no, those are drop pods right for the surface. Okay, here come the fighters. Right, we've got a limited window here. We need a clear path before we can board her. Okay, that's one target down. We're going for the frigate. Break, taking too much damage. Oh, God, these things are twitchy. Okay, splash two. God, I hope that corvette doesn't have our own defenses on board because my shields are down already. All right, those were drop pods. Here's some more targets, then we can scupper that ship. Shields down. Lock. No, you don't. He said you could leave. Yeah, I'll see you back on the surface. Okay, going in for a strike run. Let's take out these engines. There's one. Two. Come on, lock it up. Oh, I guess these really aren't heat seekers. Okay, she's dead in the water. Let's keep killing our escorts. Okay, looks like they're trying to bug out. Can't let them get away. Ah! <laughs> I'm just taking all these rams like fucking Neo versus 100 Agent Smiths. <laughs> Look, you're already dead. Oh yeah, mighty fine shoot. We're almost done. Right, and that should be it. Perfect. After clearing away the hostile escorts, it's time to infiltrate the ship itself, turn the crew into minced meat, and then lock her onto a refueling path with the carrier with the payload on board. Ah, uh, Leo. And I hate to tell you, but you're not getting leave this season. I like your ship. I'll take it. Okay, so this is the hangar beat. I hate to tell you, but you're all gonna have to vacate the premises, and that's not gonna tickle. <laughs> Alright, who needs my help? Oh, I wonder if I can use these. Oh, good night, man. It's over, elites. I have the high ground. <laughs> I believe you can fly. <laughs> They're so vulnerable. This gravity makes them so vulnerable. You just do so much damage to them. While they're in the air, they're just so helpless. Look at this absolute buffoon. <laughs> and here comes the mail. God, does anybody realize we're on an enemy ship? Like, we're the ones being invaded in. Excuse me, what the fuck? AMX-42, don't you even try and trigger me like that, Bungie. No, our frigate's getting clobbered right now. Oh god, look at that. Come here, I'll kill every one of you. No. Oh no. We lost our frigate, boys. Alright, this is the bridge. That looks like the captain over there. Let's try and get the drop on him. Fucking mud on you. Boo! Jeez, I don't know why they don't just send our Spartan team up onto that carrier. We'd kill the entire crew and just commandeer the ship in a day. No, you don't. Ah, oh, I guess you can't all be Spartans. Oh, where are you? He's cloaked. There you are. Nope, oh, there's two. Should have stayed hidden. Alright, where's your wife? There she is. Okay, uh. Any kids? I guess I just know how to interface with this alien autopilot. Oh, there's the carrier. God, look at the size of that monster. Whoa! Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to fight our way back out of here now. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Don't you want, want me? I right, have one of these and stay back. I'm taking your ship. Oh, you don't want to fight? Okay, have another. Dude, I just shot him in there with the grenade. That's great. Shut, they're trying to take the bomb. That's a vibe check. Mm, mm oh yes. Alright, now where's a high vantage point I could snipe from? That's one. That's two. Oh yes, this is much better. Oh, him up there. Three. Four. Reload, I wanna kill more. <laughs> Five. Alright, send in more. Oh they are sending in more. I'm spotting of them. Honestly, I don't know why they bothered. Hi there! 
Oh, I thought I could surprise him. Oh, I bet that made his eyes water. And with the Covenant forces on board the ship taken care of, and the Corvette locked on autopilot, it's time to get the hell out of here while that slip space drive control A's and control X's the carrier and any other ships in the area. The only problem is that, in the skirmishes we just fought through, the remote detonator was destroyed. That means it has to be done manually, and since we're new here I guess we haven't unlocked noble death perks yet. Huh, noble team, I just got that. Yep, George is staying here, he's gonna throw us off the ship, I guess we can survive falling from space just casually, and then... well. Oh my god. Can I get an F in chat, dudes? For George and the 15,000 Covenant bastards who just got kicked from the server. Of course, if you've played Reach, which I'm assuming you all have, you know what happens next. George gave his life thinking he'd just saved Reach from annihilation, but that's exactly when an entire Covenant fleet showed up. So I guess that's the next video all planned out for us, right? And that's Operation Uppercut, also known as the Long Night of Solace and one of my favourite sequences in the entire Halo franchise. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and if you did please leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, come follow me on Twitter and Twitch and remember to support the channel on Patreon or hit the join button here on YouTube or you'll end up like George. Just saying. Thank you lads all for watching, have a lovely good day and always remember to keep a whiskey in hand, keep your kilt on and I'll catch you next time. I say a wee thank you to these lads for supporting me on Patreon. Bluefeet OC, Mole, Bias Remover, Rosekill, Metallic Green, Church152, Crescent, Captain Fibar, The Britlander, Seagull Nuts, DA261, Latvian Wolf, Gisliga Darson, and Dark Recon. You lads are broad. Want to join them? Come check out Patreon at the link in the description below.